Are Walmart knives sharp? I didn't even know they sold knives. <laughs> All right, well anyway, stopped by, got another Walmart. Uh, this is an Ozark uh, trail knife. It's a camo. Uh, it's a two and three quarter inch blade. Kind of a small knife, that's good. It's pocketable, lightweight. I see that it does have a, a clip on the back. All right, and I'm gonna take it out of the package. The package is really tough. Um, in one of my videos, I was actually sharpening, um, you know, and it's uh, $4 or less, okay? Um, this is one of the knives that I was actually sharpening with a rock, and it isn't too bad for sharp. It's actually pretty sharp. Uh, it'll take the thumbnail right off, but it's not as sharp as I want it for slicing paper. So I am going to use it to kind of cut this packaging off here. And my lovely assistant will be picking up the paper here in a minute. That stuff's thick. Okay, so we tear it open. Get my thumbnail in there. Take it apart. Pull the knife out. Got the blade. It's actually a pretty nice knife. Um, it's got the uh, center lock that you push sideways. Put the blade back up, comes down. The center lock comes over in behind the blade on the pivot point. Stops it from closing on your finger, which I had happen one day. Uh, that isn't any fun at all. It took almost two years because it got me all the way from in here all the way to the fingernail when it closed up on my finger. It was really a bad deal. It's one of the worst uh, accidents kind of that I ever had actually. Um, so let's see if we got sharp. Um, are Walmart knives sharp when you get them? Well, let's look. Uh, okay, hang on. Okay, that's not too bad, but you have to keep it moving. All right, and right here is where it's really hard to get it to cut. Yeah, there you go. But it's not too bad. All right, so let's sharpen it up and see how it turns out. And now I'm going to use, ah, there it is. <laughs> How can something that big be hard to find in your pockets, all right? So, again, two corners, tungsten carbide, 90 degree corner, 90 degree corner. Touch the 90 degree corner to the blade on the same bevel they ground it at, which is probably about a 12, 14 degree angle, something like that right there. Turn it a little bit, come over here where it's comfortable, and start brushing okay I don't push too hard a couple ounces of pressure would be good enough for right now just like that just like this turn it over and go back towards the handle from the point turn it back over and go out towards the point I actually roll them like this that means I'm sharpening going both directions now I'm going to go from the handle out towards the tip turn it over and do the same thing here now I'm going to touch it about 20 times 10 on both sides Play the game, I tell people. So what am I doing right now when I'm playing the game? I'm polishing the cutting edge a little bit. Taking the wire edge off the blade, that little burr that develops. Okay, let's see how that turns out. And I'm going to stick it in my watch pocket so it's easier to get. Oh, that bites. All right, so let's see if it's better. Oh, my gosh. You know, when I get quiet, I, I'm a little bit amazed, and, and, and it's fantastic that it cuts like that. So, um, didn't take very long. It's easy to do. My sharpeners, Walmart knife, $4. Um, it's probably stainless steel. It's camouflage, two and three quarters of an inch long on the blade, center locking device. Okay, it's got the thumb assist. Oop, that one didn't flick too good. Uh, like that, and it turns out that sharp. Oop, let's make it a little sharper. I don't want to have to kind of fight with it. So we just do this. I'm going to speed it up. Brush lighter. Just like that. Like this. Like that. Now we touch it real light, both sides. Actually, I'm touching it a little bit harder than I should so you slow down and you touch it even lighter all right let's see Whew, mosquitoes are getting big and lots of them so let's see that's sharp enough
You can make them sharper than that, but you know what? Oh, I just had an idea. Let's see. My, my poor arm has got so much hair missing. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. And now it's got a lot more hair missing. So, yeah, it's sharp. And I'm starting to look like I got the grunge. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. You take care.